What's up guys? Welcome back to Film Was More Fun. In this video, I want to talk about wrecking your negatives on purpose, okay? Uh, so hear me out. I know, you know, some people are like, what? Well, no, just, just hear me out, right? So there's a couple techniques that you can try that uh, will, will distress the negative or, uh, you know, honestly, you're, you're ruining the negative. But, you know, it could give you some really, really cool effects. Let's check it out. So the first thing that I tried was burning the negative. And all I did with this was basically just take a negative, uh, take a match, and then, you know, just a little bit away from the underside of the negative, I moved the flame uh, in a circular motion, uh, you know, back and forth just to, to see how it was going to affect the negative. Uh, and it looked like, you know, as I was holding the heat closer, it would kind of crumple up, it would, you know, scrunch up and, and kind of warp. And uh, so I had to real quick, because I knew I was going to try to rescan these, I had to flatten them back out again because I knew I would never get them to scan right if they weren't somewhat flat. And, you know, it's funny because, I, I don't know, a ways, maybe a year or two ago, I tried uh, a film soup and it was a film soup fail, okay? I called it like film bacon or something like that because that's exactly how the negatives turned out. It, it looked just like... It was a, a couple pieces of bacon. Um, but anyway, so and that was strictly with chemicals. So it, it's, it's funny how the, the, the negative will react to both fire and chemicals uh, by scrunching up. So I found that was kind of interesting. Now, the results from this method weren't as dramatic as I thought they were going to be. You know, going into it, I thought, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to get some major color shifts. I'm going to get, I did get some warping. You know, I, I assumed obviously you're going to get warping. Uh, but uh, these were my, you know, results going the first time. And I thought they would be a lot more dramatic than they were. And the next thing I tried was scratching and like distressing the negative. Now, I, I needed something sharp. And really, the sharpest thing I know is my mind. Uh, but anyway. So what I did here is took a couple negatives and I took an X-Acto knife, went through and, and just started scratching. And I, I scratched in a couple different directions. A couple times I went, you know, and just used lines. Uh, another time I went through and, and did circles. And I just wanted to see, you know, what the, the difference was between doing the lines and doing the circles. Now, they say that, you know, you can tell a lot about somebody's personality through handwriting. OK, and I, I wondered, OK, could you convey emotion through through doing this? Like if you violently scratched a negative, you know, could somebody perceive this as a violent feeling, you know, or if you were like feeling kind of bummed out and sad and, and you just, you know, very softly scratched it, would that translate to somebody observing it in that fashion? Um, you know, I, I don't know that, but it was just a thought I had. And the last thing I tried was etching on the negative. And you're, you're probably going to want to see the scene really well. So like backlighting it somehow is going to probably be th the best way to go. I don't have a light table, which really would be ideal. Um, I took my phone and I just brought up a, a blank white image and then turned my brightness on my phone all the way up uh, and was just really super careful. I don't recommend this uh, because, you know, one wrong move and, you know, there goes your screen. But um, anyway, I'm living on the edge. So the results from this were absolutely my favorite. I really liked how you could kind of accentuate the, the scene by just going over, I guess, you know, the shapes, the major lines and objects in the image. Now, I totally understand some people might absolutely not want to try this. You know, I, I don't recommend going through your old family negatives and scratching up, you know, your family members, unless it's like a third distant cousin that you really hate. I don't know for real. You know, shoot a couple rolls if you're going to try this. You know, I went out and I deliberately shot some rolls that I didn't care if I was going to wreck. You know, it was kind of all in the name of experimentation. So especially if you go in shooting, knowing that you're going to end up doing this to your negatives, you can help pre-plan some of the scenes that might look cool combined with these effects. That wraps it up for this, guys. Uh, if you could do me a favor and annihilate that like button, that'll give us some uh, Google juice or YouTube juice or whatever um, to help other people find the videos if, if you guys think they're interesting. And uh, I hope everybody's well. And until next time, we'll see you. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back.